Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, intelligent internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Trauma Talk. A few days ago, I was watching a video from one of my favorite creators. I absolutely love this channel. I would highly recommend it to anyone who might be interested in these kinds of topics, but the channel is called Jimmy Snow, otherwise known as Mr. Atheist. And real quick, if you're not an atheist yourself, don't worry, I'm not either, but I really appreciate hearing Jimmy's perspective on a variety of issues from political to religious to social. And a few days ago, he made a video talking about some recent actions of our president. I was listening to it. Again, I don't agree with everything he says, but I, I really like hearing how he speaks about things. And towards the end of the video, he said this. If you are a person who is a victim of assault yourself, I get it that you can't bring yourself to it. And I, I'm not going to cast judgment on you for not. I will also tell you though, I would vote for my assaulter because I am also a victim of assault. It's a little different, sure, because I'm a man and I've been told that that makes it different. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about that comment and the topic that it covers today. But before we do so, I just wanted to thank all my lovely patrons over on Patreon for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support me over there. If you're curious what Patreon is or why I'm talking about it or what it could do for you, check out the link on screen. And again, thank you to everyone who has decided to join over there. Okay, so if you know me in real life or if you know me online, you probably know that domestic violence, sexual assault, PTSD, things of these nature are things that I care very deeply about helping, about stopping and healing and helping provide context and education and conversation in the aftermath of. And when I started this channel, Trauma Talk, which is basically entirely focused on life in the aftermath of trauma and mental health and navigating all of this, I noticed something. I started this channel almost three years ago now. I think it's coming up on three years, which is pretty crazy. And a lot of the comments that I got initially were from men, were from men who had found my channel and said that there was no safe place for them to talk about what they'd gone through. I remember one person in particular, I won't say his name here, um, he disappeared a while ago and I haven't heard from him in a long time, but we would have at length conversations in the comment section about the abuse that he had endured and how in so many different circles, he was never taken seriously from the police to people at work, like laughing and off and making fun of him that his wife was literally beating him up, things of this nature. He expressed to me in a very articulate way that there was no way to be a male victim of domestic violence. So he just stopped talking about it. He stopped trying to find help. That broke my heart. Being someone who is an advocate for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault, I find myself in a variety of different circles that deal with that topic, obviously. And something I have noticed is that these issues are generally presented as women's issues. And while a lot of women are affected by them, they are not exclusive to us. And I don't understand why we talk about them like they are. The statistics of men and women and everyone else who is affected by domestic violence and sexual assault are not that different. And these things are not generally easy topics to talk about, right? Like no one's just chatting about them as a party topic, generally speaking, but we make it so much more difficult for men specifically who have been sexually abused, sexually assaulted, abused by a partner, been in a, a verbally abusive or emotionally abusive or, or physically abusive relationship to come forward when we just make it a women's issue, when we say it's different for women. Like if a guy gets hit, it's whatever. He's part of the patriarchy, but like if a woman gets hit, this is horrible, this is terrible. The reality is that both are horrible and terrible and should never happen. So while I was listening to Jimmy talk the other day, I felt like my heart just sort of fell down a flight of stairs. For some context, he's talking about the fact that he's still voting for Joe Biden, even though he himself is a, a survivor of sexual assault. He's a sexual abuse survivor. And in it, as you guys heard, he said, you know, I understand that it's different because I'm a guy, but I am a survivor of sexual assault. And when I heard him say that, I felt like someone had just like stabbed a knife through my heart because first of all, I am not, at all going to speak for his experience whatsoever. I don't know what it is, and even if I did, it's not my place to talk on it. But talking as someone who is also a survivor of sexual assault, every single situation is different. It's, it's not different because someone's a man. Yes, there are specifics that go into that. I would say, especially when it comes to culturally, how we talk about this, yeah, it is different in that regard, but the damage that it can have on a human being, gender doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who perpetrates it or who is the victim of it. It's horrible. It should never happen. It affects people in unique and different ways. And sometimes when I say this, it becomes controversial. Sometimes people tell me that like, no, it, it is different because men are stronger than women. And therefore, yes, there are some issues that are specific to that. Like for instance, if a full grown male hits a full grown female, generally speaking, the damage is gonna be worse on one side than the other, right? Okay, but that's not the issue here because abuse takes many different forms. From comments made and stories read and statistics understood, 
I understand that I have so many brothers in surviving sexual assault and surviving sexual abuse and domestic violence and miserable things in general than ever talk about it, than I will ever know exist. I know in my own life and in the lives of so many other people I know, breaking the silence, talking about things has been a first step towards finding healing. Certainly it isn't the only one, but being able to put things into words has been vital for my own personal survival. We have created a society and a culture where it is very difficult as a man to say that something has happened to you. We have created this culture where Jimmy, if he's talking about being a survivor of sexual abuse or sexual assault has to say, like, I understand it's different. I've been told that it's different. And whoever told you that, if you happen to be watching this, Jimmy, I'm really sorry that they said that to you because I don't think that's true. Being a survivor of sexual assault and abuse myself, I do not think that's true. Everyone's experience is unique to them. Their trauma and their abuse is unique to them and how it affects each individual person is different. Another example of this, I have a friend, we've experienced a lot of the same traumatic instances in our lives at different times, but she was also sexually assaulted when she was in her early 20s. This is something that absolutely changed the course of my life, crushed me, shattered my worldview, like still has an effect on me to this day. But for her, other things were a lot more pressing in her life than this trauma. She'd experienced different things, so being sexually assaulted was horrible, was awful, was traumatizing, but was not, it did not have the effect on her that it had on me. And I think that's important to point out because she is a female, as I am, the dynamic was between her and a man, as it was with me, but how it affected her was very different, even though the circumstances were the same. What I guess I'm trying to say here is it's not different. It's not different just because you're a man and you've experienced domestic violence or sexual assault. You are a survivor or a victim the same as anyone else. And I'm really sorry if anyone has ever negated that for you or told you that that wasn't the case or excluded you from the conversation because you were a big strong man or because you were male or whatever. So I obviously consider myself an advocate for survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault, right? As such, I will never consider these to be gendered issues. I'll never downgrade what someone has gone through just because they were male or just because they weren't female or just because they identify as non-binary or whatever. It's, these are not women's issues. These are human issues. And the effect that they have on human beings, regardless of gender, is atrocious and is lasting and is worthy of conversation. I was a big supporter of the Me Too movement when it started because it was so cool to see people finally talking about this thing that I'd been trying to talk about for years. Like that was really cool to see. But then some of the offshoots of what it's become, for instance, completely denying the experience of male victims repeatedly really makes me upset. That's not okay. Yes, there are issues that women specifically have had to face in our society, but <laughs> claiming a trauma as specific to a certain gender is wrong because that's not how it works. And you silence people when you suggest that. Hearing Jimmy say, you know, I, I know it's different because I'm a guy, it sounds to me like someone has told him that. Like someone has maybe told him that repeatedly. Like maybe the internet, for example, has told him that over and over and over again, right? I really don't know if that's the case or not, but assuming that it is, Jimmy, I'm really sorry if people have ever told you that. They shouldn't have said that because it's not accurate. I'm really sorry for what you've had to experience and what you've had to go through and what you've had to go through in the aftermath of that. You're not alone. I'm not a man like you are, but you're really truly not alone. And I'm grateful that you are speaking up and saying that this is something you have experienced that takes a lot of courage to do so, especially when you feel like your voice doesn't matter as much because you're a man. So thank you for talking about this and I'm really sorry for what you've had to go through. That's what I have for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts and your feelings in the comment section down below. Like I said, I just, it really hurts me that we exclude our brothers from this conversation because we want to like, I don't know, we want to have like a monopoly on these issues, which doesn't make any sense to me. I think the only way to actually solve or heal things is by coming together and having different voices and different stories and having the truth be told, looking at statistics, realizing that men and women suffer these crimes at similar rates. Thank you so much for listening. I really look forward to hearing your thoughts. A huge thank you again goes out to all my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you for supporting me there and choosing to continue to do so. It means more to me than you will ever know. Know. And to you watching this video, thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere in the whole world doing absolutely anything and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I really appreciate it. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.